Hiram, and we looked at Bradford and Susquehanna, which is essentially Tawanda and Montrose and that area. Bradford and Susquehanna are the two big producers, as Brayton said, in the northern tier. They're not the only ones. Tioga and, and uh, Lycoming are also big, but those are the two big ones, okay, that really produce the gas. And these counties, if you notice, the borders are just about the same. They extend the same area. So you're looking at the two sides of the border, the twin tiers. You're looking at the southern tier in New York State, and below that, the northern tier in Pennsylvania. And we looked at the uh, data. And I have several, a presentation that includes several charts. But let me just mention a couple of key statistics. Uh, first of all, when we look at the number of employees, give me a second here, I'll get to that. Okay. We looked at the employees from 2001 to 2011 in those areas and compared them. In the uh, New York State side, on the, nor on the southern tier side, those counties over that period lost 13,000 jobs while the two counties on the Pennsylvania side, which are much smaller population to start with, gained 1,645 jobs for an increase of 5.2%. Now that's over a 10-year period. <laughs> then we look at wages. Wages. On the New York State side, these three counties, the wages uh, from uh, 2008 went down 1.2%. On the Bradford and Susquehanna side, on the Pennsylvania side, they went up simultaneously, again, from a much smaller base, by 28%. And when you compare the numbers, the actual numbers, New York State lost about $70 million in wages, while those two little counties in northern Pennsylvania gained $278 million in wages. That's what this industry does for an area. Now, Brayton has gone through, I think, very professionally what, the, what this involves. Um, and I think he's given you a very, I think, a pretty neutral perspective on it in terms of what it involves. And I think it's very good. Uh, the bottom line is and that when we look at this from a nationwide perspective across the entire United States, there is not, and I know there's a lot of people trying to assert otherwise because they're trying to use fracking as a term to cover the entire industry. But the truth is hydraulic fracturing has never Loaded a water supply in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> it has not. You can laugh. You can laugh all you want, but that is a documented fact. That is a documented fact, attested to by several states, by the EPA. That is a fact. EPA. That, that is not correct. There is. It is a fact that there is no water supply in the United States of America that's been polluted by hydraulic fracture. Now, have By there been, the have there, well, what, let me, let me answer, let me answer what I know you're all going to say. You're going to say, well, there's a spill, or there's that, or there's this. All those things have to do with natural gas development in general. They do not have to do with hydraulic fracturing. And what we have, has, but the what drilling have has, has polluted. What about the, the drilling? Let me talk, will you please? Wait, 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 wait gonna, here. I'm going to shut up a minute. One at a time. Let me, let me answer. Let me answer. What you've had as a result of the movie Gaslight is you've had, you've had people com conflate uh, what is, they took that flaming faucet, which was a lie, by the way. That in fact, that Colorado State said that that had nothing to do with gas drilling. Nothing. And, and what happened was that he took that and presented an image in the public's mind that somehow that was a result of hydraulic fracturing. It was not. It had nothing to do not only with hydraulic fracturing, but nothing to do with gas drilling. And that's where we started down this road. Now, I see Craig holding up that jug. Now, let me tell you something. Dimmick, he comes from down near Dimmick. That jug, which his buddy held up all over the place, and he's held up everywhere. Not my buddies, that's uh, Ray Kimball's. Not that, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that water has been tested. The Sautner's water, which they ran around with that jug everywhere, that was tested by the EPA. And that water turned out to be safe. The EPA, the EPA came in, the EPA tested that water and found that it was safe. That's the bottom line. The EPA tested it and found that it was safe. Now, at that, at that, now that we've got it sprouted up a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll turn it back to break. Okay, good. <laughs>